What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial, today we are continuing with the GTA 6 tutorial series and in this episode we will set up the health system for the civilians mass AI entities. So basically we can shoot them, deal damage and they will ragdoll to the floor. It's going to be a very easy video to follow so let's get started. Alright, so the first thing I want to do is go ahead and open up our civilian blueprint. So we're going to go into blueprints, civilians, and there we go, we have BP civilian AI. So of course, this is the blueprint class that we're using for our mass AI entities. So we can implement all the logic that we want for this, right, entities. So in this case, what we're going to do is basically just add a very helpful um, component that we created earlier on in the series which is the bpc stats and this will contain the health and all that stuff so we can just quickly integrate it into this civilian ai so that's a cool thing about creating modular code and you know uh, actor components so we can just go to the civilian ai press add and search for stats and boom here we go press enter max health we will have it at you know 100 and that's it the only thing now we need to do is add the on any, uh, sorry, not on any damage, but event damage, uh, receive damage, damage, uh, sorry, any damage, yeah, I don't know why it didn't appear before. Event any damage, so when the entity receives damage, we will get our BPC stats component, which is where we have our health and everything, and then just go ahead and say decrease health. And then with what health? Well, the incoming damage of, you know, the, uh, the, the, the vent. And then we're going to check if we are dead or not. And if so, we're going to get the mesh and set simulate physics. And what this will do is basically go ahead and ragdoll the character as we have done before in this series too. So let's make sure that simulate is ticked. And then we need to do two little things. First of all, let's go to the mesh, go down into the details panel until we see the collision settings. And I'm going to change the collision presets to uh, custom. So now what we can do is first of all, change the collision enabled from query only to query, uh, sorry, to collision enabled query and physics. That way all the bones can collide and interact with each other, which is very important for our ragdoll. And then another thing is that if we go back real quick to our BP player, and open this up you will notice that on our fire system the line traces use the trace channel visibility okay that's the trace channel that we're using to be able to deal damage to things in this case as you can see the mesh has the visibility channel as ignore so it is very important for us to mark it as block that way our line traces will detect this mesh and apply damage so make sure that those two things are done under the mesh collision settings and with that said we should be good to go. Now, if we shoot them, they should basically do damage and die. So let's go ahead and test this out. And also, as you can see, it is the same way, uh, exactly the same thing, right? I mean, we could even change the tabs and they will not really change. And that, you know, what we did with our dummy, uh, we added the BBC stats and added the health and, and so on. And actually I'm seeing here that the health is 50. So I'm gonna go back to the civilian AI and change the um, the BPC stats default health to also 50. So, it, you know, civilians are gonna be pretty easy to right, take down. All right, so let's go ahead and test this out. Press play, press Q to get our rifle. Let me just shoot to the ground for the shaders to compile. There we go. And now I can go to any AI, shoot and boom. <laughs> there we go. They will go ahead and die. And it looks super cool. Um, and there we go, you know, and we can see of our AI is here, that's the dummy, okay, and just shoot them down, and now they have the health system integrated, ragdoll, you know, damage effects, and everything like that, and it looks super cool. So that's it guys, if you found this tutorial helpful, I would really appreciate it if you could like the video and subscribe to my channel. I have lots of Unreal Engine 5 videos and tutorials, so check them out. Check out my Patreon and YouTube members for, you know, access to whole whole project files of this series and much more. Check out my uh, Discord server, that me and other devs. Um, also, go ahead and um, check out my Stealth Gorge, Game the TV, and also follow me on my socials. And now, yes, with all that said, bye-bye.